Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Arakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, who you ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ, whose names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Harakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world. And the men, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine to you, I say shalom. Okay, the title of this lesson is Everyone Sees Your End But You. All right, and this is reference to this um, this Edomite you see on the screen that um, his name is David um, Gazik. And he goes into commentaries, and I guess he has a um, he has a, uh, a a YouTube page or whatever, and people you know ask some questions, and I guess someone uh, presented him with the question of what happened to the Edomites, or are the Edomites still exist, and he basically bullshitted around the question and, and came up with some lame ass answer, where he actually answered the question, but at the end of the day, he still lied. All right, because that's what this devil knows how to do. And they won't accept, like the like the brother put on the um, in the title of this, they refuse to accept the inevitable destiny, all right? And their inevitable destiny is destruction, okay? To their kingdom, their infrastructure, this wicked setup that they've been ruling under, all right? Esau, Edom, all right? They're, they have an end, all right? Everyone has a beginning and everyone has an end. Only thing that doesn't have an end is the kingdom of heaven, all right? The kingdom is he of heaven where the Israelites... Okay, are gonna rule in righteousness forever. All right, but every every kingdom throughout the history of the world has had an end. And all right, in Esau, you're no different. All right, like the scripture says, Esau, you're just a man. All right. So let me hop into some scriptures. Actually, let me hit a scripture real quick, and then I'm gonna jump back uh, and let you hear a little bit of this. Uh, well, I'll, I'll try to play the majority of it where this this Edomite, you know, he may know some scriptures, he may know some history, but the spirit is definitely not dealing with Esau Edom on any level, all right? Um, this is the book of uh, 2nd Ezra, chapter 9. And it is, let me start at, um, I just want to hit the point in 5. This 2nd Ezra is 9 and 5. For like, for like all, for like is all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, all right? The point is everything has a beginning and an end, all right? And, as the prophecies continue to come to pass, you're going to continue to see Esau's end as we get closer and closer. All right. And everyone sees, all right, the heathen nations see, all right, you're, you're in Esau. Okay. Even Edomites see their end. They see that that, that their power, that their uh, their might, that their uh, inf influence, their witchcraft, that their media, it's not working anymore. All their tricks, all their old tricks, all their old tactics that they used to use against our people is not using. All right. The heathens. All right, they see your end. All right, they're fleeing from you. All right, they're coming up against you. They're making acts and agreements with other nations to come up against you. Okay, and ultimately they're going to destroy you. All right, um, right along with you, Howard Shy and the angels. All right, so let me go back to this uh, this guy, and I'm gonna play a little bit of it, and then you can just see that the this, <laughs> these devils don't know how to tell the truth, it's, it's, even when the truth is smacking them right in the face. All right, doing something a little bit different. I want to deal with a question that came last week in the live chat that I didn't really get to, and I didn't really get to it because I didn't really know the answer. At least I wasn't confident in the answer. I said that I would look it up, and I have done some research on that, and I feel a little more confident to give an answer this particular week for this idea for what happened to the Edomites. Let me read you the question. That what happened to the Edomites? And... and He's going to get into that the Edomites, they have, they're going, he's going to say that the Edomites have to be here because it's prophesied in Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, and Isaiah, the 34th chapter, about the destruction, about the wrath that Yahweh Shai has with the Edomites, okay? But he's going to try to say the Edomites are done away with, uh, uh, they were um, done away with in the period of the Maccabees, they're, they're mingled amongst uh, the other nations. So he's essentially saying if they're mingled with uh, within the other nations, they're not done away with. So there's Edomites still ruling, all right? And we know through the spirit, all right, through the the, the, the scriptures, all right, um, that the Edomites are ruling right now. The scriptures say that uh, Esau is the beginning of the world. And es excuse me. Esau is the e Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, pursuing to um, 2 Ezra, the 6th uh, chapter in the 6th, uh, ninth verse. All right, I'm going to play a little bit more. 
came in last week that I felt, well, let, let me take a look at this and I will get to this. And the question is simply this. Uh, who is the nation of Edom today? Because it's prophesied in Isaiah chapter 63, verses 1 through 4, and Isaiah chapter 34, verses 5 through 8, that Jesus will come back to a kingdom ruled by Edom. So they have to be on the earth today. So that's the question. And let me. He said they have to be on the earth today. That, that's a true statement. All right. These, these devils, <laughs> they, they, they even, they, they, they try to um, try to dance around the truth, but he just said the truth. All right. He said, if, you know, Yahweh Shai, well, he said, Jesus. Uh, is going to come back and, and the Edomites would have to be on the earth today. And, and they are, the Edomites, the head Edomites are on the earth today. Okay. All, all the, all the Edomites, and I won't say all of them, but the vast majority of the Edomites, they're the ones that are in, not in the spiritual world are here today. All right. To get judged. I'm going to read to you the relevant passage here, for example, from Isaiah chapter 63, uh, beginning in the first four verses. Now, I'm only going to read to you here uh, the Isaiah chapter 63 passage, because actually the Isaiah chapter 34 passage is very similar. They essentially say the same thing. So Isaiah chapter 63, let me start reading to you now from verse 1. Uh, who is this who comes from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Basra was at one time the capital city of Edom and the Edomites. So who is this who comes from Edom with dyed garments from Basra, the one who is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the strength, in the greatness of his strength? I who speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Why is your apparel red and your garments like one who treads the winepress? That's a metaphor. By the way, so that's a metaphor for, for the blood of the, the destruction. Okay. It, it's not literally talking about Yahweh Shai is going to be in a winepress. That's a metaphor to, for, for, the, for, for the blood of the Edomites that he's coming back for. Okay. He's going, how he's going to try them in the winepress. I'm going to get that in Revelation 19 to, uh, uh, to, to precept that with Isaiah 63. OK, because these devils, they, they may know a little bit, but the spirit is not dealing with them. The mysteries are not revealed to these Edomites. All right. And, and they're in complete denial about their their end, their destruction. All right. And who's coming to destroy them. All right. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai and the host of angels. The name of that city that at one time was the capital city of the Edomites. That, that name means wine press. Uh, continuing on. No, that see he's lying right there because the name Basra, when you look it up, and I'll do it real quick. Basra in the um, Isaiah 63, it actually means sheepfold or fortress. All right, um, Isaiah 63, go down to Basra. I just said um, Basura, uh, sheepfold or fortress, a town of Edom. It says a town of Moab. And it's a town of Edom. It's the the the, the capital city of, of of Edom. Okay, where the Edomites dwell. All right. All right. Back to this guy. Verse um, three. I have trodden the winepress alone, and from the peoples no one was with me. I have trodden them in my anger, and trampled them in my fury. Their blood is sprinkled upon my garments. And I have strained all my robes for the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeemed has come. That's the end of verse four. So here what we have is we have a clear and if you take a look at the broader context, you'll see this is a clear message of the return of Jesus Christ in judgment. In J a the devil's telling the truth right there for for once he's telling the truth. We would consider it to apply to the ultimate judgment when Jesus returns to judge the earth, when Jesus returns at Armageddon, so to speak. So what's the connection here with Edom mentioned in verse one of Isaiah chapter 63? And again, also mentioned in a very similar context in Isaiah chapter 34. So I would disagree that this passage tells us 
that Jesus will come back to a kingdom ruled by Edom. So I would disagree that this... Who are you? Who See, that's how proud this devil is. Who are you to disagree with the word of the Most High? Or, 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 the Most High, his words don't change, all right? The Most High is not the author of confusion, okay? The, this is going to come to pass. Let me grab a scripture real quick because that, that's, the, that's the, the pride of these devils, all right? Everyone sees your end, all right, but you, all right? This is the book of um, Isaiah 55 and... Um, Uh, let me see. I'll start at verse 11. So shall my word that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. It shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right. So the Heavenly Father spoke this by his prophets about our Lord Yahweh Shai coming back. All right. Um, uh, 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 to try in the wine press alone among, uh, uh, um, on Edom. Okay, and he's going to do it. It's going to happen. But this guy says he would disagree. Let me just play it again. Passage tells us that Jesus will come back to a kingdom ruled by Edom. Well, so, and who, who are you to disagree with the scriptures? You're supposed to be this biblical scholar, but on this passage, on this verse, you disagree. All right. And the thing about it is the, he's not even going into who the Edomites are. All right, but he knows who the Edomites are. He knows that the Edomites are the race of the so-called white people, so-called white man, okay? And if it was the Edomites, if they were the so-called Arabs or where they were the Chinese people, he, he would tell you, he would tell you clearly who these people were. But no, he, you know, they know who they, who, they know who they are, all right? And they know that we know who they are, okay? It's you stupid two-thirds out there that don't know that this devil is. Esau Edom is the devil that the Bible speak of, speaks of, and they hate you. All right, every hey, everyone that everyone that is seeing this devil's fall. All right, everyone sees it. All right, everyone sees your fall, but Esau and Esau actually sees their fall, but but they're 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 in they're de they're denying it. All right, in the back of their mind, they're thinking that you know um, we got a hundred more years, we got two hundred more years, or or essentially they think that they're going to rule forever, like the scriptures say. Let me grab that and um. Psalms 49. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 49, and verse uh, 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. These devils think they're going to rule forever. They think that they're going to, you know, pass this wealth down and, and see these devils, the, the, the higher ups, the elite bankers, they know about reincarnation. That's why they keep the money inside the families, because they know that they're going to come back into wealth. They're going to come back into rulership. All right. So, but their 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 inward thoughts, like the scripture says, that their house is going to continue forever. All right, and they're going to pass their generational wealth down. They're going to fulfill their new world order, and they're going to rule the world earth forever. But the Most High is going to send. The Most High got other plans. All right, Yahweh Shai got other plans. All right, and, and they're going to come out, come back, and take this devil out. Okay, but let me grab another scripture and I um excuse me, Psalms uh, fifty eight. How this devil just they, they just lie. All right, that all they know how to do is lie. This is uh Psalm fifty eight and uh verse three. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent, they are like the deaf adder that stoppeth his ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. All right, they 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 act like they 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 see it, but they don't want to believe it. All right, that's how much pride this devil has been puffed up with. Where you know they they see themselves falling, but in the back of their mind they've been ruling for so long, it, 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 they can't imagine it happening. It's happening right before our eyes. Okay, it, it's happening, and it's going to the, the 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 each day that goes by, your kingdom is deteriorating right before your face. Your dollar is through. All right, your your people don't believe you. All right, the the this democracy is failing. All right, you 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 got you know the, the this nation is com completely divided. All right, and, and and you're losing you're losing grips of everything that you everything that you use to uh, to rule. All right, and, and at the end of the day, you're going to resort to your sword. All right, what you know best. Okay, but the heavenly Father is, is going to lift up that standard for His elect, so you're not going to harm His elect. All right, I want to go back to that verse and uh, read. Um, Actually, Isaiah uh, 60, 63. 
All right. It says, who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This is this that is glory. It's like it. this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Okay, this of course this is talking about Yahweh Shai. All right, he's coming with dyed garments from Basra, or right, because like like he was like even like this this Edomite said he's Basra is the the um is the capital city of Edom. It's not Yahweh Shai is literally not going to go over to uh where where uh the land of Edom. All right, Edom uh, uh Basra is Basra is is synonymous with the people of Edom. Okay, it says glorious in apparel, traveling in this greatness of his strength. I I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore thou art red in thy apparel and thy garments, like him that treadeth the wine fat. I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, the year of my redeemed is come. Okay, so uh, the day of vengeance is in, is in Yahweh Shai's heart. Okay, he's coming back for he's coming back for all nations. Like the scripture says, he's going to have crowns on his head. All right, so he's going to take down all nations. But Esau, Edom, he has a a, a special hatred for Esau. Okay, and, and even the Mo, the Most High hates Esau. All right, that's what these devils they 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 these these, these um these, these so called uh, biblical scholars they. They don't want to go into the, the to the meat of the scriptures because they really can't because they could they're only surface surface level scholars. All right, they know about the history. They can they know the things that they they, they go study and the, the tangible evidence, but they don't go deep into the scriptures. They don't really because really the spirits not dealing with them. All right, let me grab this real quick. Uh, in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter um, one, one and four, it reads: For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in a body that is subject. Unto sin, and us all Esau knows how to do is sin. All right, there's not a righteous bone in this devil's bodies. All right, so that's why they can read the scriptures, but they can't understand the scriptures completely. Okay, like the scripture says in Amos uh, three and uh, seven, surely the Lord power will do nothing but reveal His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. All right, the heavenly Father is only dealing with His elect. Okay, these things, these deep mysteries. Of the scriptures, the revelations of Daniel, of the parables of Matthew, they're hidden, okay, from 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 these from these uh, uh um from, from from these Edomites, from these so-called biblical scholars. It's only given to a, a, a remnant of men that are chosen, okay, that are called. Hopefully, we're chosen to uh of, of the of the elect to, to push this word, to, to preach this word, all right, to finish this ministry, to endure until the end, okay. Um, let me grab, um, actually, let me jump to Revelations because I wanted the uh, precept that Isaiah 63 with Isaiah 19. And uh, I'll start at verse, let me see. I'll start at 11. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doeth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. All right, this is talking about Yahweh Shai. Right, he had many crowns upon his head because he's going to conquer and take down all these nations, including Esau, Edom. Okay. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of the Most High. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, White and clean. That's talking about the angels and the chariots. And the armies which were in heaven followed him. Oh, so like, yeah, I read that. Uh, verse 15. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with that with it he should smite the nations and shall rule them with a rod of iron and treadeth the winepress of his fierceness of the, of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty power. Okay. Hey, he's going to tread that winepress. All right. He's going to, it's going to be a lot of blood shed when Yahweh Shai comes back, mainly of the nation of Edom. All right, because though hey go but let me let me grab this Revelations one and um seven. Or who are these who are these Edomites or who are these uh um Saturians these uh that pierced them? Okay. Uh, behold he cometh with clouds it's talking about Yahweh Shai talking about the chariots 
and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. All right, it says also which pierced him. When Yahweh Shai was on the on the uh, on the cross, when he gave up the ghost, those Roman satyrians, all right, those Edomites, they pierced him. So he's coming back for them too. All right, and not just them too, he's coming back for the whole nation of Edom. Okay? Because the, hey, the, the most high, he hey, the most high hates Esau, Edom. As it says in Malachi uh, 1 and 4. Okay, Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build. Actually, let me start up. I'll start at 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. All right, Jacob represents you Israelites. His name was later changed to Israel. Okay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Most High loves us. Okay, but he's going to jack us up before our, for, our, for our wickedness, for those that don't repent. Okay, I and verse 3, and hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people. All right, it says and the people, not one person, all right, it ain't talking about just Esau, it's talking about a people, and the people whom the Lord have indignation forever, all right, the Lord hates Esau, all right, Yahweh Shai hates Esau, and they're coming back to, uh, to, 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 to rule in righteousness and take this devil down, let me grab this, Revelation, excuse me, Hebrews 12 and 16, and it reads, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. All right, the birth, birthright was the kingdom of heaven. The birthright was, was ultimate rulership. And Esau sold his birthright. Or he despised his birthright for uh, uh, that morsel of meat because he was faint in the uh, in the uh, coming from the field. Instead of putting his faith in, in the Lord, he put his faith in, in, in his flesh and, uh, uh, and, and, and told his brother, you know, what will the birthright uh, do me? I'm about to die. And he, and he sold his birthright. All right, verse 17, for ye know that afterwards he would have inherited the blessing he was rejected. All right, he was rejected then and, and the Most High is going to reject him now. All right, for he for he found no place of repentance, though he sought carefully with tears. Okay, and, and, and Esau is doing the same thing right now. They're going to try to seek sympathy and, and, and seek, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 seek sympathy from you, Jakes. But hey, the elect is not going to have no pity for Esau, Yahweh Shai. It's not going to have no pity for Esau, and the Most High definitely not going to have no pity for Esau because Esau, hey, you know they 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 had a nice run in their wicked kingdom, but they, hey, everything come to an end, and we're at Esau's end. Okay, um, let me get this. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to get Isaiah thirty four where where he didn't he didn't go into, but you know basically. Um, it, it, it reiterates what it says in Isaiah 63. It's Isaiah uh, 34, and I'm starting at verse 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them and have delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. That's talking about those ICBM missiles. And their hosts shall fall down, in the as the leaf falleth from the vine, and all the falling, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea. And upon the people of my curse and judgment. Well, you just said, you, you're watching this, you can say, well, you just said Edom. No. Edom, Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom. Esau tries to uh, uh, try to throw things in there instead of putting Edom on there. But you look up the word, it clearly says Edom, Esau, Edom. Okay? Idumia. Edom. Red. Edom. Edomite. Idumian. Descendants of Esau. All right? So Idumians and, e Idumians and Edomites are synonymous with each other. The same thing. Okay, and that devil knows that. They know that. They know the truth. Okay, because to tell tell a lie, you gotta know to tell. Excuse me, to tell a lie, you gotta know the truth. Okay, verse six: the sword of the Lord filleth filled with blood and made fat with the fatness, 
and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, and the Lord hath sacrificed, had a have a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. Okay, so the Lord is, is going to it's going to be a great slaughter in Basra, not literally in Basra over in the ancient world, all right, in the Middle East, but it's talking about Esau Edom. It's talking about America. Okay, let me see. Um, Let me grab this in uh, Jeremiah uh, chapter 51. And uh, let me see, is this seven? It says, uh, verse seven, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand and made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, if so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go everyone into our own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And he said, let everyone go to their own country. And that's what everyone's doing right now. All right. Everyone sees the Esau's falling. All right. And the, the devils, they see their they see their end, but they just guys that that cognitive dissonance where they don't want to believe it. They they can't. They can't believe that America is going to fall, that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, that he's he's being broken down all right all his lies and all his witchcraft and all is being is being revealed all right the, the man of the man of sin is being revealed all right this is the book of um back in isaiah chapter 13 and i'm gonna start at verse uh 13 therefore i will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger and it shall be as the chaste roe and as a sheep that no man taketh up they they shall, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee into his own land. And everyone's fleeing. Everyone's trying to distance themselves away from this devil. All right, everyone's trying to uh, cut any kind of ties with with Esau right now because everyone sees their fall. But Esau, okay, everyone sees this devil falling, and they're gonna fall hard because they've been ruling for so long. Their their pride is built up, and, and, and they feel like they can't be taken down. Okay. But like the, the Lord's coming back for a thief, like a thief in the night to take them down and take out two thirds of our own people also that continue to trust and believe in Esau. All right. Hey, the scripture says that uh, though hand walk in hand, the wicked shall not go in. Uh, well, how does it go? It's in Proverbs. I'll get it real quick. Let me turn it. And join. Yeah, it's Proverbs eleven twenty one. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous, righteousness shall be delivered. All right, the wicked of Esau, Edom, who is the wicked, and the wicked two thirds of our people. They they join in hand with this devil. They hey, they're gonna go. They're gonna not. They're not gonna go unpunished. Okay, so um, and that's all the precepts I really want to hit. You know, and, and you know, I just I know you know uh, uh, brothers, uh, elders, and apostles have re responded to this this Edomite, but. You know, he knows the truth. He sees the truth. He 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 didn't even go into the who the Edomites are today, but he said that he didn't agree with the judgment of Esau. Okay, so hey, this hey, this devil right here is going to be destroyed in in, in in the nation of Edom. Okay, so you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the uh, elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Habakkuk Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.